function p is it positive? That's referring to the y values, where the y value is positive. And for what values of the function is it decreasing? So you're going to plug it into your graphing calculator. Again, if I had one, I would demonstrate or model using a graphing calculator. Because I don't, I'm going to rely on decimals. So we can look here. And I'm going to zoom out just so I have a little better view of what this looks like. OK, so from this point, all the way up here, the hill and back down is positive. That's one part that's positive. And then it's positive again, starting at 4, moving up. Now, here's the key I need to point out. At ne x equals negative 3, it's not positive. It's also not negative. It's neutral at 0. Also, at positive 2, it's not positive or negative. It's neutral. But between negative 3 and 2, it's positive. And after it leaves 4, it moves to the right. It's also positive. So if I come back here, I could illustrate those two intervals showing where p is positive. Now, where is it decreasing? Whenever we describe um, increasing, decreasing, or constant, we are going to use parentheses. And so I need to describe it in terms of x values. So let me click off these so there's no confusion, and click off this. On your graphing calculator, you're going to find what is the maximum and the minimum. So they're their global, excuse me, their local or relative maximums. Why do we not call them global? Just as a little aside, they're not absolute or global because the, it doesn't stand out as the highest point or the lo the lowest point because we can see it keeps going up and keeps going down. Just, just a little side thing from polynomials. So here we can see this is the x value at this point and this is the x value at this point. So the next question is where is it decreasing? So from when x equals negative 1.082 after it leaves that point all the way until it reaches 3.082, it is decreasing. And I'm going to write that as an interval. So this would be a graphing calculator question.